What's going on my YouTube family? How's everybody doing today? Yep, that's right, long hair still here. But look at, I got sunglasses. So, kind of matching the whole tire here, the rock and roll outfit. I'm gonna maybe join the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's right. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody enjoyed the last video. Hope I didn't scare anybody away. Appreciate all my new faces to the channel. I am that wood guy. This is my landing. Anything wood related and or woodworking, firewood, cutting down trees, forestry. Passion for it since I was a little boy and since I am still a little boy, I still have a passion for it. What are we doing today? Today we got a rearrangement of our firewood logs being relocated down the whole front lane of the wood lot here and they're going to be turned perpendicular 90 degrees to the uh, direction that they are turned now so it's easy offloading for my log suppliers it's also easy for me to come in with little bob and big bob and grapple the logs and carry them up to the processor i'm using the front here because it's the most open away from trees opposed to the back where the processor is potentially in the future the processor is going to get rearranged so that maybe you know i'm not trekking the logs so far but for now this works it gets the material in off of their trucks and they can carry on through their day and so can i so as we can see my mess here and little bob on the job we got a cooker out here today i'm starting to set up my stringer logs where they're going to set the firewood logs on top of and I have them all, like I said, road front, plenty of distance enough away from the road, nothing's gonna happen, but I need them turned from running north and south to east and west. And that is this direction opposed to this direction. So if any of you doesn't have your compass on your phone right now, knowing where I'm at. <laughs> but right now everything is scattered about. This is my plan of attack, ladies and gentlemen get these stringer logs into position. We have a fresh, another log load coming here. I'm gonna probably move all of them down and start the pile. And I can get from each end, from this end with little Bob or big Bob. And I can also get from this end with little Bob or big Bob to be able to always feed from the oldest wood. And I can also make a nice big mountain of logs along this whole road front. So it's quite a distance there, it's gotta be probably over 150 feet or more, a couple hundred feet, I would say. So I think that'll work. Let's get at it.
All right there, my family, and like that, we are rearranged, have somewhat of an established new system, a pile of stringer logs, slab wood from the sawmill, saw logs, and all my firewood. Easy access for the suppliers to get in here and unload, and for them to get back out. Driveway's all wide and open. I also have my full loop to come around with the truck and trailer and come around up to the processor so I don't have to back up anymore. With it being a beautiful, balmy 90 degrees today, you can smell that wood seasoning. I think this spot's gonna work much better for my stacked firewood and running the logs this direction opposed to the other direction as you guys seen earlier in the video. It really choked me off in the driveway and I had to turn sharp angles with Big Bob. Now I'm able to kind of come in straight, back out straight and lead my way to the processor with a nice you know, gradual turns, which I prefer over anything else. And as you can see, we have plenty of room for more. I can bring it way up to the front there where I still have plenty of room to get in with Big Bob or Little Bob, depending on what I'm using, be able to get the logs. I think this works out beautiful. So I'm really excited to use this new spot. I'm glad to share it with you, my friends. I hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody stays cool this summer. Don't overdo it. Don't overwork yourself. Make sure you drink lots of water. Be safe, be good to each other, be kind, and stick together, my friends. We need it this time of life, like I always say. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you, everybody.